Take one end of the lehenga dupatta and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Secure the pleated section on the right shoulder. with a pin at half length. Bring the flowing end from behind over to the left side. Now take the flowing end of the front side in a single pleat and pin it behind in the center of the back. Take the flowing end from behind and bring it over the left shoulder and secure it with a pin with a border and design showing prominently in the front. Take one end of the lehenga dupatta and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Secure the pleated section on the left shoulder with a pin at one third length, leaving the longer fabric in the front. Take the flowing end from front side and bring it all over the back and tuck it in the left side mid waist. Take one end of the lehenga dupatta, leaving the longer fabric behind. Bring it from behind in a single pleat to the left side and make a small folding on the left wrist and pin it along like a bracelet. Secure the dupatta with another pin on the right side over the blouse line. Take one end of the lehenga dupatta and secure the fabric on the right shoulder in a single pleat at one third length, leaving the longer end behind. Bring the flowing front end in a single pleat. and secure it with a pin behind it in the left side. Take the longer end from left side, bring it over the back and make large pleats and tuck it in the center of the back. Adjust the pleats neatly so that the borders are shown. Take one end of the dupatta or scarf and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Tuck the pleated end evenly along the waist like over the legging to make it look like a skirt. After tucking the scarf to the entire length of the waist, pin the ends of the fabric so that the skirt look 
is complete. Take one end of the lehenga dupatta and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Secure the pleated section on the left shoulder with a pin at one third length, leaving the longer fabric in the front. Bring the flowing end from the front over to the back in a single pleat and pin it on the left waist area. Arrange the pallu loosely over the chest. Box the pallu to form a single layer pleat and rest of the fabric towards the border. Secure with pin. Take one end of the Anarkali Dupatta and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Secure the fabric on the left shoulder at one third length, leaving the longer end behind. Bring the front end in a single pleat over the chest and secure the end over the left shoulder. Take one end of the Anarkali Dupatta and secure the fabric on the left shoulder at one third length, leaving the longer end behind. Bring the back end in a single pleat over the right shoulder towards the front and secure the end over the right shoulder in equal length as the left side. Take one end of the Anarkali Dupatta and make pleats fully to the entire length of the fabric. Secure the fabric on the right shoulder at half length, leaving other end behind. Bring the end from behind to the left wrist and secure it with a pin like a bracelet. Take one end of the Anarkali Dupatta and secure it over the right chest in a single pleat. Bring the Dupatta over the body tightly and secure the fabric behind on the right side in line with the previous place. Make pleats using the other end of the dupatta and bring part of it over the right shoulder and secure it with a pin. Duck one end of the sari in the right side waist. 
Bring the sari over the waist a full circle and tuck the fabric throughout till you reach the right waist. Take the free flowing end and tuck a portion of it temporarily on the left waist and bring the pallu over towards the front. Make pleats and secure it on the left shoulder with a shorter length flowing. Fix the fabric tightly from the right side and secure pins along. Now adjust the pleats in the front. From the portion tucked temporarily and tuck it mid waist. And secure it with a pin. Arrange the pleats over the chest compactly with one layer below. And the rest of the pleats together with the border. Tuck one end of the sari in the right side waist. Bring the sari over the waist a full circle and tuck the fabric throughout till you reach the right waist. Take the free flowing end and tuck a portion of it temporarily on the left wrist. Bring the pallu over towards the front. Make pleats and secure it on the left shoulder. Arrange the pleats in the front. And secure another pin to the upper lining of the blouse. Fix the fabric tightly from the right side and secure pins along. Now adjust the pleats in the front from the portion tucked temporarily and tuck it mid waist and secure with a pin. Tuck one end of the sari in the right side waist. Bring the sari over the waist a full circle and tuck the fabric throughout till you reach the right waist. Take the free flowing end and tuck a portion of it 
temporarily on the left waist and bring the pallu over towards the front. Make pleats and compactly secure it over the chest on the left shoulder with the inner border parallel to the ground. Rearrange the pleats to a very thin width and secure. Now adjust the pleats in the front from the portion tucked temporarily and tuck it mid waist and secure it with a pin. Use a chiffon or georgette sari for this method. Wear a long sleeve blouse. Tuck the end of the sari. Non palu end on the right side and bring it around the waist to the back side. Tuck it in fully while doing the same. Bring it towards the front again. And leave some length of fabric and tuck on the left waist. Now bring sari over to the right front side. Make pleats on pallu, keeping the length short. Pin it on the left shoulder. Now make pleats in the front. And tuck it in the center. Remove the pallu pin and adjust the pleats keeping the border straight. Pin it along with the blouse on the right side of the chest. Do this such that the chest will be covered with only one layer of fabric. And rest pleated in and secured with a pin. Wear the sari till the front pleat as per normal method. Arrange the front pleats in a spread over fashion. For the pallu, take the free flowing end from the lower right side and bring it over the chest. And fix the pallu with the border parallel to the floor on the first pleat. Make the rest of the pleats thinner and fix it over the left shoulder. Fix another pin behind on the flowing pallu. Take the flowing end 
and bring it over the left shoulder from the back to the front. Securing the tip of the pallu just over the left shoulder in a single pleat.